What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rich Nice back once again. I know I have been absent from YouTube for about a month, month and a half. Uh, we've been dealing with a couple of deaths in the family and friends. Um, so uh, without further ado, we're back. Uh, all the grieving process is over with. So now it's time to get back to business. As you can see down here, we have a whole bunch of boxes and stuff to install. All right, so in the boxes, uh, this first box we have is called the Haldex pump. Uh, so basically what I did was I bought the Haldex kit. It comes with the oil itself. Uh, it comes with O-rings and new um, nut uh, bolts. And here's a model number, all that good stuff. Um, it also comes with your Halodex drain uh, fluid plug. So this is the top plug where you actually fill the Halodex. And then it also comes with a drain plug, which is this one. So this one is how you drain it. It's on the bottom. When we get to the vehicle, I'll show you all that good stuff. And I think that's about it in this box. And then you have uh, the pump itself. So I know you're asking what a Halodex is. And it's H-A-L-D-E-X. And basically it is the pump to make uh, Selena all-wheel drive. Right now she's just front-wheel drive. This is the pump. It goes in the differential in the back. Uh, and this is how you get power to the rear wheels. Uh, it also comes with uh, your bolts for it. Uh, so when we get ready to do this install, we'll go over that. Uh, the reason I go with this company is because they most of the stuff they offer has a lifetime warranty, especially on things like your hubs, your bearings, you know, things like that. So, uh, again, I'll put the link down in the description and we'll go from there. Next up, we have... get America out. America. Uh, these are sway bar in links. So these are for Ruby 2.0 and uh, hopefully this will stiffen up the suspension on her and, and make it a, a little bit better. Uh, for my wife while she's driving and trying to steer around and hitting bumps and all that good stuff since she has a lifted Jeep uh, But we'll get into this later. It should be pretty easy install uh, I believe it's like an 18 millimeter up top and then there's an 18 millimeter bolt that goes in the bottom uh, that we'll reuse so uh, Again, here's your nuts and bolts for the top or should I say your nut and washers and you also have your uh, pins so these are supposed to be uh, quick disconnects, but I don't think they are. You also have your zerk fittings, so you can uh, grease those things up. So we'll get into that. And last but not least, we just have our. Uh, basically, these are the brake sensors for the slingshot I took it to the dealership it was a warranty they couldn't find them and I got tired of waiting because it had been over a month so I went ahead and ordered some myself uh, it should be a pretty decent install biggest thing you'll have to do is uh re bleed your brakes and add some more fluid so and this is basically how it goes also in the package is your o-rings You know, uh, that goes along with it. So we'll get this installed. Uh, again, these are just some of the projects that we uh, have coming up. So more to follow on those. So <clears throat> we'll get those installed. We got some videos to shoot. 
uh, for Megatron, you know, I've had him like two and a half years. He got 6, 16,000 miles on him. Uh, we got a new uh, vehicle for the channel. It's a Dodge D-150 1985. A long bed pickup uh, that was given to us by our father-in-law. Um, we got to shoot a video on, the, on Beast Mode, the Hellcat. Got to shoot a video on Ruby 2.0. Uh, so the slingshot is back. Uh, we had some brake sensors done on it. So I'll give you an update on all the stuff that's been going on with it uh, since the last time. So we got a few videos out there that we need to do. And we'll get into those here shortly. Uh, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for all my old heads that stuck with me since day one. I really do appreciate it. Uh, as always, much love. Peace.